how's it going? Welcome to your Valentine's Day reading. So this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Whether you're single or in a relationship, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm just going to check and see how your Valentine's Day is going to go. All right. Um, so what I'll do is pull your energy, their energy, your mindset, and then we'll pull some additional shit here as well. All right, Leo, what's up? What's up for Valentine's Day? The Seven of Coins reversed. Judgment. And the Knight of Swords. Okay, so your overall energy that day is the Seven of Coins reversed. So you don't feel like wasting your time on anything, honestly. Um, you feel like something's a waste of your time. You don't want to, you don't even want to put any more work into something here. Or they don't. You might feel like Valentine's Day is just a waste of time, honestly. Let's get one on that Seven of Coins. Reversed. The Eight of Pentacles reversed. So same thing. Yeah, it's like something is just like a repeated pattern and you just don't feel like it anymore. Um, and the High Priestess. So this is you listening to your intuition when it's telling you that a situation isn't worth your time. Um, you might actually be working that day too. So, I mean, is that, I think it's a day of the week. Probably everybody's working. But anyway, that might affect like your day. You might be working too much. So your energy is judgment. So there might be somebody that's kind of looking at you wanting a second chance. Or you're just, you know, reevaluating reevaluating a connection here. Let's get one on judgment. Oh, the sun. Well, that's happiness, guys. So Leo, whether you are not wanting to invest in a connection or not, you're happy. The sun's clarity. You might have clarity on a situation that you were previously confused about. And the nine of coins, you're good on your own. The nine of coins is independence and you've now got the seven, eight, and nine. So I think that you're just going to be really focused on your money. Whatever else comes is whatever else comes, but you're good by yourself. You're happy by yourself. You can be single. It's, it's nowhere near codependence. Um, and you're gaining some clarity on something that you thought was done, thought was over, but maybe it's not. Um, so that you can make a final decision on it. Your other person is coming in with the Knight of Swords. So you're going to have somebody that wants to have an honest talk with you. This is like kind of reckless. They're probably going to be coming to you, spilling some shit. And it's going to be, you know, real unexpected, impulsive. And the Fool could be an Aries. But this is somebody um, that wants a new beginning with you. They want a new start. And they want it like right now. Oh, and the wheel. Yeah. So you have somebody that wants to talk to you to try to turn things around between the two of you, or you've got somebody completely new. They feel like you are part of their destiny and they're probably right. That doesn't mean you have to be with them. It's just, you know, somebody you're meant to meet for whatever reason. Um, but they're going to come in and let you know they want this. They want a whole new journey with you, a whole new chapter. They want to just jump right in here. All right. Um, now I'm going to pull you some from this deck. This is uh, over 18, y'all. Let's see what messages want to come out here. Leo. The Hermit Reverse. So this is Virgo. Virgo means anything to you. But this is coming out of isolation. It's coming out of isolation after a period of like introspection. Um... So you see the dude here. I don't know if you can see it. The dude on the card. There's like two people hooking up over there. And he's just sitting there by himself with his candle. Staring at his candle. So it's finding like a light in like a shitty place. And bringing yourself out of isolation. Letting yourself be seen again. Another one. The Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords. <laughs> Very detached, Leo. Very detached. This is like no bullshit. Um, this is kind of generally somebody who's who's alone. This is like someone who is alone and they don't hardly allow anyone into their space emotionally. Like they keep it real head over heart. 
and it's air, by the way, if you're dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and you have the hanged man. Um, so more of the same, not taking any action, just kind of hanging out, um, trying to figure out, you know, what, what it is you want to do in a certain situation, trying to look at it from a different perspective, you know, same thing. I have to say though, so if you are just like hooking up with somebody that day, it's nothing serious, you're just hooking up. This chick's got her uh, wrist bound, FYI. FYI, Leo, if that's your thing. All right, let's get you a, an oracle here. This is um really lighthearted, nothing serious, all right? Let's get you an oracle, Leo. This Gandhi, when you find life, there is love. Happiness is when you are in harmony with your soul. Forgiveness is a sign of strength. It is the weak who cannot forgive. Interesting because you have that potential reevaluation, reconciliation here. All right, let's get you some advice. Advice for Valentine's Day for Leo if I don't drop these freaking cards. All right. Advice for Leo in love, Valentine's Day 2022. Six of spring, wonderful news is on the way. Um, this is a six of wands, success and public recognition. So this is gaining a, a lot of attention. So you're probably gonna get a lot of attention that day. It might just be via social media, but it looks like you're gonna get a lot of attention. You, that's like being in the spotlight. Oh, and the six of summer, back to back sixes. Um, so the six of summer is the six of cups, which is past. The return of people or romances from your past we just talked about that um so if it's if you don't have somebody from your past coming back you could have a past life connection with the person um it's real sweet it's real nostalgic all right you guys take care thanks for hanging out with me